Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to manipulate effectively with Creo. On this video you can see that this direct example from you that in the SOLIDWORKS is really easy and the manipulation is quite well but in Creo it's strange and in this video tutorial I'm going, going to show you how to do it properly also with Creo mechanism. So let's have a look. Over here I have a one mechanism it's an imported geometry from KUKA, so you can see that I didn't model it, but I'd like to reuse it. What I did is only that I have specified the constraint. So for example, if I will select this object and I will select the definition, we can see here that I am able to manipulate and spin model, for example, 360 degree. But opposite that if I will specify and select this component, you can see here that it is not possible to spin 360 degree. So we really have to specify by Creo functionality, I will show you here, in the rotation axis, you can set minimum and maximum limits. And what does it mean? For example, I specified zero value and 337 degree. So what does it mean if I would like to spin this object directly? The system do not spin the object to 360 degree, but over there is the maximum minimum, yeah? So Let's have a look and check the objects. You can do it by yourself as you want. And one example that if you manipulate with this complicated mechanism, because over here, everywhere are the connection, for example, pin connection or cylinder connections. And if you would like to manipulate, so I'd like to only show you that, yes, of course, it's not so easy and then you spend time and it said, unbelievable, it's been always as you don't want to use it. So first of all, if you would like to manipulate with this kind of mechanism, yes, of course, you can use the dragger and select some uh, point and spin around or move and the system will move it really, really on the way or everywhere. Yeah. So what I prefer to use is to use the constraint. And over here is example that you are able to select motion axis constraints. So what does it mean? The system will show you all connections. Over here is the pin connection. Over here is the pin connection. Yeah. So for example, here I would like to spin and now the value is 60. So for example, we would like to have a 50 degree or we can say zero degree. Yeah. So step by step, you can set your custom value and also you can create a snapshot. So what does it mean? If you will create a new snapshot, so I will only write now manipulate with something. And again, if I will create snapshot two, you can set the snapshot what you would like to activate. Of course, I can delete, for example, and also we can, for example, set custom value and don't want to use the minus 44 degree, but for example, 60 and system will show you. So it's up to you. But now you see that you need to guess what value I need, 60, 40, 25. So my, I have a one proposal, make a mechanism and specify all constraints and maximum minimum, for example, for spinning, moving and so on. And then I have prepared my assembly and as the example, I have, play, I have placed it only here some cubes. And based on these cubes, I like to show you how to manipulate properly and place your assembly as you really want in the drag components. For example, as before, I have prepared two snapshots and as you can see, you can set your custom name. So for example, if you have a snapshot one, you can change it and select point zero one, for example, as the name. So write and enter. And then you can really easy double click and the system will jump where you want. But what we want, we would like to do it from the scratch. So I will jump to constraints again. And over here, I like, I don't want to use the point plane alignment. So I will switch off. It was from previous snapshot and I like to use the my custom one. So for example, I will use alignment two entities. So what does it mean? You can align two surfaces. Yeah, so for example, I will select the bottom surface and this surface. Yeah, if you like it, you see, I'd like to use directly two surfaces. And 
What does it mean? Then these surfaces are constrained here and you are able now to move with your object and you can see this is working well. This head, I will call it head, this component is still touching the surface. You can go outside of the selected surface and it's really great. You can manipulate as you want and then you can spin the object as possible. Yeah. So the system will catch maximum minimum and you can also now, for example, add some value for the additional dimensions. So for example, not 32, but for example, 30 yeah, or 40. We can try yeah, or 50, doesn't matter. So you can move also, you can spin and navigate your additional values. So for example, here, I would like to specify not minus 31, but minus 25, for example. Yeah, if it is not working, the system will show you the error message because you choose the wrong value. So no problem, specify undo and set some custom one. And sometimes it's always good to uh, switch off the previous constraints because maybe it's a mismatch of the constraints. You know, this value and that value is not possible to work as you want. So what does it mean? I will switch off this one and again you can change the value as you want. Another options what I'd like to show you is that now my connection of this plane is plane to plane. Yep. So maybe we can create a new snapshot go back here and the system will jump as you want or what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you that you can prepare some points yeah so on my assembly give me a second I will move the component away I prepare over here the point so you can imagine that for example over here is some pin and on that pin is the additional point so I will not create a 3d object it will be only point and in the constraints I will specify that it will be orient two surfaces or align two entities. Over here, I would like to again align two entities and I will select this point will be directly connected on the, on the edge. Now that's great, yeah, because you need to imagine that this point is still on this edge. And if you would like to now move with the object, the system will still be really good oriented yeah and the object is still connected on the on the edge great yeah so i think that you can really easy to manipulate on the positions and orient model as you want in this video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to select two entities and make the connection between these two entities and the system will automatically set the proper orientation or how the possible the specify motion axis constraints and then you can select the motion axis and system will automatically show you current value and you can change the actual size and set proper orientation. It was a quick example so I hope so that you like it and you will find it useful for your next modification of the assemblies. Thank you for your question. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Vladimir.